Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snope and today I am doing a quick video for those of you who want to learn how to code for Android. This is our first video in the tutorial series. Keep in mind, I will try to have a video come out once to twice a week if possible. But if you have any questions, either from a current video, a past video, or something for future, let me know and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. So as far as this particular video, we're going to get into Android. What is it and what it could be used for? We're just going to do a talking head video to get down to the nuts and bolts to explain for future videos that will be coming out and maybe show you if this is for you or not. So Android, what exactly is it? Android is a operating system created by Google. Google recently changed their name to Alphabet, but they're realistically just sticking to Google. So Google made Android for first off mobile phones. It spread from there to tablets. After it went from tablets, it went into things like Google Glass, and then it went to other things like TVs, computers, and other st stuff. Now, Google is a thing that any company can grab, modify, and put out there. For example, Amazon has a technically a Android phone of their own, but it is modified heavily with Amazon stuff. They have quite a bit of control over it. You will find the same thing happening with many companies. Well, they'll take the operating system itself, modify it pretty heavily, and then put it out on their manufacturing sites and other places so their workers can do a better job with the better tools provided. This is very important to note, especially if you want to work in this field. Now, the one thing to note if you want to code for Android is you should use Android Studios, and that's my opinion. However, you could use quite a few other platforms out there. The reason why I say that you need to really stick with Android Studio is Android Studio is a workstation that is created by and controlled by the people who made Android and who controls the vanilla version of Android. It's very important to note this, but realistically, you can use many other platforms. Now, as far as the code side of thing, there is a primary code, and that is Java and XML. XML is primarily used for the visuals, buttons, things of this nature, but you're really going to be using Java for the coding, the actual workhorse. So it's very important to note on how to code for Java. And if you don't know how to code for Java at all, that's fine. For me, it's very easy for me to go from one code to another that I've never seen before and just take five minutes looking at it and just figure out how things are supposed to be. But for you, if you're not that way, you might want to take some Java classes before we get into this. Unfortunately, at this time, I don't have any, but if that changes in the future, then I'll let you know. One thing to also note is with Android Studio and many other emulators or in many other workstations, you'll be dealing with something called a emulator. An emulator is a way you can test your code on something that, that emulates the product. So for in this case, a Android device before you actually ship it out. You might not even have an Android device at all and you can actually test your stuff. This is how many coders test their stuff. Instead of taking the time, hooking up the device and run from there, they can simply use an emulator if possible. Or if they, again, don't own the device. For example, if I don't own a Google Glass, I can still code for it. Or 
Android watch or something like that. I could still code for it, even though I don't personally have one. So that's very important to note, and you may need to modify your BIOS to enable this. And um, I will point you in the right direction for this in case if you don't know how to do this i'll just give you a website that will point you in the right direction on how to do this but as far as that goes hopefully you'll enjoy the series and if you do have any questions at all at any time then let me know but keep in mind since android is always updating itself it's very dynamic and still in its emphases as far as it's only been out for just a number of years things may change and i don't have a way to update the videos besides going in the description so if something doesn't work let me know and i'll try to help you out as best as i can and at worst i'll make a new video to replace the old one have a great day